guys in this lecture we are going to explain how to debug a react native application if you are working with a react native application you can you may face some issues you may face some crashes that time you have to understand how to debug the react native application there are multiple ways you can debug a react native application some of the ways i am going to explain in this lecture so for that one, what i have done i have already created a project here you can see the project is running if you don't know how to create a project you can check out my previous videos and just run this command npx react native init debugging okay so it will create a project in your desktop i have already created uh, that project my project you can see running on my android and ios device now what i am going to do i am going to open my vs code here i am going to import my project desktop debug so this is my project here you can see the code which is running okay now what we are going to do uh, we are just going to remove all this code okay we can just remove these things also we can just remove these things and we can just add a view here view style flex equal to one then we can just remove all other thing yes we have just closed that view and also we can just remove this type this syntax uh, we have just removed fine now we can also remove this style sheet which uh, which we are not using okay now what we can do we can just import our one button here okay so i am going to use this button here button if you don't know about the syntax of button what you have to do open a google chrome tab here you can just type button react native so just go to the button react native here you can see the button syntax what i am going to do here i am just scoping this whole thing fine now if i just refresh my screen let's see what happened there is an error coming okay we are going to explain about this now let's refresh the screen i'm going to reopen the screen once more okay just close this one here you can see my button here right so what i am going to do i'm just adding some adding to the container yes yes here is the button now listen in react native you will be facing two kind of issues one is red box issues second thing is yellow box issues so we can just try to reproduce that kind of issues here red box issues and yellow box issues red box issues issues are fatal issues which you have to fix before you are running the application yellow box issues are the issues which you can ignore but you have to address at any time okay for that one we can just create a red box issues and a yellow box issue we can just create a red box issue okay here i am going to create one function on press red okay i'm just passing this on press function here and just changing my color as to red as well and then one more thing i'm going to do here also i'm just creating one more function const on press on press yellow so we can just have here yellow box okay so this is yellow now i am going to call this on press yellow here for creating a red red box color what you have to do just throw an error i am just throwing an error here red error okay for warning what we can do just uh, here we can just add console.log here you can see log or one i am just creating a one here and just adding this is a warning warning mm, we can just check the spelling 
okay so this is a warning now we can just test that fear for reloading what you have to do just double tap now if i click red box you can see a red error is coming this is a fatal error you have to fix this error for running the application right now i'm just trying my yellow error as well so for that one what you have to do just close this one now here I am just trying yellow. So this, you can see a yellow box is coming here. This is a warning, right? So in the React Native development, you will face two kind of issues and red box error and yellow type warning. So red box error, you have to fix. You have to find out the issues. What is causing React Native red box error or fatal error that you have to fix. For warning, you can just skip for now or you have to fix that warning why this is warning is coming. Okay. Now what we are going to do, we are going to check out how we can debug these issues. Whenever you are facing such kind of issues, how we can find out the cause or root of these issues. For now, what we are going to do, we are just opening our developer tool. So for that one, what you can do in Android, for opening the debug menu, you have to press Ctrl M. So you can see the dev menu. For React Native, you have to press Ctrl Command Z. See, this is opening our debugger menu for React Native. For Android, uh, Command plus M in Mac or Control plus M in uh, Windows. Here, Control plus uh, Command plus Z and Ma in Windows, it will be Control plus Function plus Z. So, it is opening our debug menu here. Now, here you can see there are multiple options. Reload, change bundle location, so element inspector, disable fast fresh. So, perfect monitor, settings, enabling, sample profiler, now debug, fine. So, what we are going to do here in this lecture, we are going to explain about debug, enabling, sample profiler, show perfect menu, why we are using this show preference monitor and disabling fast fresh, it's you already know, we can, if you click this one, under time of save, it will not reload the application. So element inspector, we are going to discuss about element inspector. Change bundle location also, we are going to discuss. Now what we are, we are going to do, firstly we will do, uh, look and into the so inspector, okay. So element inspector, just I am clicking, so element inspector, right. Now if you are not aware of what this inspector is doing, if you are just tap something in inspect, you can see how much margin is this element is doing now if i just click outside see you can see the style sheet of this one you can see here you can see the margin padding and everything same thing i can show you in website okay so if you go here inspect and in the element box uh, you can see computer yes the same thing if you just click on this inspect you can get the border margin whatever the margin this element is happening everything you will get right same kind of thing you can do with react native how much padding or how much madding uh, how much margin this box is containing you can inspect style sheet of each element in react native using this inspector how this inspector is helping you it will help you to find out the color and margin box style of each element now if I am going to create a text here, okay, just I am going to create a text here, style, I am just adding a pad, uh, padding top, then we can just see padding bottom 20 and we can have a background color. Or sorry a color of green and we can have a font size of 20 and we can just say have a test text okay just save this one and we can just go here what is happening test is not important Entering here what you can do we can just open our inspector just click show element inspector now if i just click here here you can see the layout of layout box here and if you just click here text the second one text you can, here you can see the whatever the style we are given here you can see here 
now according to this style sheet what you can do if you want to change anything you can just change as you are doing in the website as well you can just inspect each element using the element inspector same way you can do in the uh, mac as well if you just reload the application just open the inspector now just text here you can see the uh, container styling here and if you just click on the text you can see the text styling we are going to discuss about performance monitor for opening the performance monitor just open the debugger menu click on the performance monitor here you can see it's opening our performance monitor in ios same thing in android just open the debugger menu click on the show performance monitor here you can see different values so it's showing one is RAM, how much RAM is consuming, JST which indicate how many, how many memory leakage is happening, views is the number of views count and UI Java S is, this is the FPS count which is a uh, frame per second count which is indicating our uh, native thread uh, passage, it will be indicating our native thread passage, currently it is 16, it is the ideal case, here you can also see 16 FPS javascript uh, fps is 16 fps if this value is going down less than 16 in it means there is an application slowness is happening there is uh, fps is taking time to render the application okay so this is how we are monitoring our performance for if your uh, ram is consuming too much then it is have a problem with ram consumption we have to address there is also if there is any memory leakage is happening which will indicate here that also we have to address by removing the listeners kind of uh, we are removing the uh, multiple code function you have to remove for that you can address that issue views also number of views and ui and javascript are the fps count clear debug with uh, my react native application using google chrome for that one what i am going to do just click ctrl m here you can see one option debug just click on the debug now it will try to connect with our google chrome here you can see my google chrome is opening just click on localhost 8081 debugger ui now just click here see the debugger is connected with my device what i have to do just right click inspect so don't forget about the port it is local zero localhost 8081 slash debugger ui now if i just go to here console i can see my debugger is connected with my device for uh, confirming that one what i am going to do i am going to change this text and going to change my button here this now up and just changing my function open chrome here i am just typing chrome it will be green okay now i am going to define this function here cons, uh, const open chrome here i am going to define an arrow function and i am going to add a console log here console dot log this typing was console dot log hi now when i am pressing uh, the on press chrome it should print hi on the console now we can just check whether it is printing correctly click on chrome sorry now it's connected just click on chrome here you can see it is printing hi right now the same thing i'm going to do in safari also what you have to do just open the safari here i'm just typing my address local zero, local host 8081 debugger ui just click on here now if you right click you will not able to see inspect as you see in the google chrome right in google chrome when you come here and see inspect you can see the console here right for uh, displaying our console log right now in safari you will not able to see that one for that one what i have to do go to the safari preference here you can see advanced click on show develop menu in menu bar okay now if i just close this one here you can see inspect element so it will open my here you can see different uh, tabs are available just go to the console and i need to close the previous one okay now safari only collected just refresh and i'm going to open my device once more just reload okay click here you can see high is printing so we have connected our 
react native app with our debugger so we hear the debugger is google chrome or safari okay now what i am going to do i am going to hit one api here okay and i am going to show the response on google chrome call api in react native you can just use a common api calling yes you can just make this one yes you can just search for any api calling here you can see this is an api calling right so now what i am going to do mm, is there any data one is available it will be better to show the consoles yes this one we can use what i am going to do i am going to create one more button okay just i am adding a space here view style height 50 50 first thing here now what i am going to do i'm just on press api okay here i am just changing api calling you can just change into orange or black black okay now here in this on press what i am going to do i'm just going to call the api right so for that one what we can do we can just copy this whole method okay here you can just copy all this method and paste it here right now i need to get the response whatever the values i am getting i need to print here for that one what you have to do just add a console dot log json we can just print what is coming on json here we can just add response now i am going to show how to debug a api calling okay now what you have to do just refresh my application is you can just close the chrome right uh, safari right now inspect and go to the console okay now what i am going to do i am just hitting the api code here you can see the response is coming so this is the response is returned from the this api we can just check out this is a json api just go here paste so you can see this is the api response which we are receiving on google chrome and we are debugged on google chrome now the next thing very important thing if you are familiarized with the web web debugging you will always using debugging tool right here i am going to add one debugger okay let's see what's happening here also i am just adding one debugger rather than console i am just added debugger now what i am going to do just clear this one i am going to clear uh, all the uh, reload the application once more and just try to click api calling now what happened here you can see the calling is paused see now if i just click here again calling is paused here the api all the calling is paused here now if i just check this what are the values coming here you can see now this is the way you can debug the application one by one each line you can add a debugger if i just add one more debugger here okay can just add one more debugger you can just stop the flow of react native and check what is the current value of the element right now i'm just going to reload the application once more okay just clicking api code it's stopped here once then i am going to jump into the next line here it is the next execution then here you can see next execution and just play here it is uh, again this value is print and it's also stop the execution again i am printing here you can see this value is printed here now if we check the console here you can see the json value is printed the response is coming now in this way you can inspect each and every line of the execution by adding debugger clear okay to do most of the time we are dealing with the redux store right so how to debug redux store for that one what i am going to do i am going to use a redux toolkit so i'm just integrating a redux uh, uh, to the application just going to the get started 
I am just using one sample. So you can just search for Redux Toolkit sample. Here you can see a Kickstarter. Now what I need to do, I need to install this library. So we can just copy this one. I'm going to add in my project. Yarn add. So this one will be adding to our project. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one store here. So just uh, here I'm going to add, I'm just add one file, SRC. Sorry, SRC. Then inside that one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a file, app uh, app.js or we can just home screen. .js, right now I am going to copy all this app.js logic into home screen just paste it here and just change the name home screen so you can just change remove these comments now what I am going to do here in the app.js file I am deleting all the things and then just export app const app here now then export default app then inside that one I'm going to import my home screen import home screen from here then I'm just returning my home screen here so just return home screen so meanwhile we have completed our installation i hope yes we have already completed we can just refresh same thing right which we have already have same thing is rendering here now what we need we need a store.js file store file so i'm just integrating a store file here store.js inside the store.js i'm just adding a store I'm not going to the detail of uh, Redux Toolkit in this lecture, just showing how to debug the store configuration, right? So I'm just added this one, export type, so we can just remove this one because we are not using TypeScript. Then what we need, we need to import the store, so we can just import the store in app.js, we can just import the store and then we can just import provider as well. So provider as well imported then we can just and uh, wrap the home screen in a provider right so we can just wrap the provider home screen so I'm not going to the Redux detail just I'm showing how to debug a Redux store in react native application then what we can do we can just have a counter slice we can just paste it here no counter slash dot yes you can just copy all this thing here right also we can remove the typescript logic because we, we have not added the typescript we can also remove the interfaces we don't want this interface yes we can also remove this one Fine, so we have added a reducer and action. Now we can just uh, import this in the uh, import this in uh, store. We can just go here inside store. I'm just going to integrate my slicer. So just add counter slice, then counter is equal to count reducer. Inside this reducer, I'm just adding one reducer. Now you can see we have added the reducer now inside home screen i am going to add or oh, we can just refresh everything is working fine so store has import problems we can just go to the store here src store yes now if I refresh it should work as it's before. yes it's working as it before I'm going to add one more button in app.js we can just add one more button Redux Dispatch 
okay so relax action we can just have a relax action here we can just have an orange color button now i am going to add my uh, actions here right so just i'm going to Im uh, import this one use selector decrement and increment i'm going to fetch the count value we can just copy this one here i'm going to paste so root state we don't need we'll just have the count value and i'm going to print my count value here text style color is equal to black then we can just print the count value here and just check whether count value is printing yes count value is printing on the on press i need to increment the count value right so we can just in, uh, increment on the on press i'm going to dispatch an action increment okay now let's see the counter value is incrementing yes uh, something is happening on the on press dispatch on increment here on press dispatch is increment to this action fine now let's check whether increment is holding okay just go here counter slice inside increment so we can just have a console here console dot log hi now if i look into the uh, console once more we can just refresh the function here g is coming it is coming here and the counter value let's see it's incrementing yes its value is incrementing right so we can just go here just increment the font size so we can easily identify and then also text align center yes now let's see yes the counter value is incrementing so we are dispatching an action successfully now we need to log whether the action is working fine for that one what we can do we can just add a logger so i am commonly using his redux logger in redux toolkit so we can just integrate one more library redux logger right so we we'll just go to that here you can see the syntax for Redux logger. Here you can see reducer, reducer. Yes, I'm going to install the library called Redux logger into the application. Yarn add Redux logger. So we are going to explain why we are adding Redux logger. So I'm just importing this one into my store. Okay, here is the my store. Okay now what i have to do you can just check what is the configure store here you can see middleware right so i'm just going to add this middleware into my store before the reducer or after the reducer right so i'm just adding my reducer now i have to check whether this get middleware is there what is the function for that one yes yes now if i just remove all this and I just refresh my uh, application once more now if I type here see here I can see whatever the action is triggering and whatever the state value clear now if I just click once more here you can see the action action is counter increment previous state of the value previous what was the value of counter it was one now it is incremented to two right now if i just click once more here you can see it is logging our redex if any action is triggering here it will be logging into our console so this is the way we can log our redex into google chrome clear use another tool for debugging that is react native debugger right so i am going to install the react native debugger before that i am explaining what is the issue with the chrome debugging right in chrome debugging you will not get the aware of which api is calling which api's response is coming here you have to install an extra library for logging the redex right 
Now in this React Native Debugger, I'm going to show how we can reduce this all effort. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to install React Native Debugger. Either you can install through command or you can install through the uh, supported file okay here i am going to install with the dm uh, dmg file if you are using linux you can use zip file or according to windows also you can use zip file now here i am going to download my dmg file as i am using um, mac os i am going to install my react native debugger which is a cool library for debugging react native so it's downloading Yes, it's almost downloaded. Now we are going to install this one. Show in the finder. Double click. So it will install the React Native Debugger into our application. Just open in our application. Here you can see the React Native Debugger. Open. Now it's showing the React Native Debugger. Clear? So what I am going to do, I am going to just reload the application once more waiting to react to connect just click ctrl m stop debugging i'm just going to close this one here just i'm typing open this application once more yes now see the debugger react native debugger is connected here you can see all my thing in one one thing if i am going to the console now i am going to click chrome see high is printing if i again click ap code see the same thing you can see debugger debugger is opening if i just uh, bypass the debugger see the consoles are printing here now if i just click here see actions are coming here right if i don't want to integrate any library here you can see action and different state of the value so this is very cool right if i just type i can see the state what are the action is happening what is the difference is getting uh, one is changed into two now if i just type once more see two changed into three all the actions are inspecting here i can also inspect each element here see see text everything i can inspect from here as well and also we can just inspect which api is calling for that one what i have to do just click here you can see enable network request right so i'm just clicking enable request now if i just clear all my console okay and just refresh if i click api calling okay in the network go to the network here you can see sorry uh, this is the first debugger i'm just need to bypass this one yes yes now if i go to the network i can see which api i am calling right here i am calling react native dev mode gsm if you check into the home screen see this is the api i am calling right so i can get the api detail here if i just click here i can see all the detail of that api this is a get api and the it returns success 200 and the ip address or uh, the server address everything see response everything i can get on the network tab in google chrome tab you will not get the network re uh, request detail right so for that one what you have to do use react native debugger so this is a very awesome tool here you can see all the actions now if i just type uh, i have to remove the debugger just go here yes now if i just uh, click on the redex you can see all the redex actions are printing here and you can fetch the current value 14 everything so everything in one application you can also inspect each element you can also inspect uh, each network request each console everything you will be available with the react native debugger clear one more debugging tool which is called flipper 
so flipper is also a react native debugging tool uh, so we are going to install flipper so here is the flipper github repo now we can just go to the installation so here you can see build from source so where you can just get the link for react native flipper yes documentation now i'm going to download the flipper okay so it will uh, download the dmg file if you are using you can download the linux version if you are using windows you can download the windows version so as i'm using mac i'm downloaded the dmg file now i'm going to install the flipper show in the finder yes just drag into application so now go to the application here you can see the flipper open the flipper so it's saying flipper cannot open because the developer cannot be verified so what you have to do go to the system preference here you can see security and privacy inside this one what you can do just authenticate your system now you can see uh, one more option app store identified and uh, you can just what you can do just change this one yes it's now coming open anyway right so click on open anyway before that one what you have to do just authenticate once more open anyway so i accidentally uninstalled that one so just put back this okay so whenever this option is showing open anyway just click on open anyway now open and just log this one again okay so we have made the changes for in the system preference to open an external library so we have this then close now what you have to do first step what you have to do just set up the doctor we can just check whether all our things are clear here you can see stk installed you can just check stk installed return rerun if anything goes run what you have to do go to the flipper here you can see uh, here you can see the settings go to the settings check out your location android developer location is fine ios developer location is fine everything is fine then apply and reset once more if it, if it is showing any error okay in the doctor setup if you are showing any error just go to the settings go to the setting here you can see all this one okay just add your location now how you can find the android sdk location just go to the terminal here you can just type echo dollar android oh, android if i have not correct one just go here you can just print out the echo root okay you can just print echo android sdk root which i have provided in the flipper android sdk location okay now our flipper setup is working fine now we can just check whether application is connected or not just go to the application open the application yes here you can see our application is connected with the flipper now just go here clear all these things we can just clear now we can just click chrome here you can see hi is printing as we have printed on google chrome you can see the console here just go once more if i just click api calling here you can see yes we can just check out api call what is the error is coming no nothing is error is coming you can yes here you can see api is calling react native data json which is the api which have added in the home screen right so which we are remember here is the api call now we can just check out the console what is the log is coming so just move device just add it just check once more yes you can see the response is coming here right and also if you have any react native debugger log also network as you can see here it is coming your headers everything you can see here and also uh, if you just open this one 
you can see any shared preference any async storage value is stored here you can fix you can see here also we can just go for uh, any flipper packages for uh, react native anything any flipper uh, uh, redux logger is available here you can see redux debugger is available react native debugger is available. whatever the plugins you need you can just install it will show in the right side now we can just trigger the action and everything so we can just clear the log here just create a redux action here you can see redux action is showing here fine so in this way you can use redux flipper as well for your debugging purpose also any images if you are showing any images you can just disable also network you can shared preference you can use here logs are coming here also redux any redux tools developer tools if you want to integrate you can just go into here you can just plugin manager search for the plugin redux here you can see redux debugger is there yeah redux observer is there any plugin you can install according to your requirement clear yeah. so this is how we can use flipper for our react native debugging native crashes because native crashes you can not console in google chrome or debugger right so at that time you have to use studio now what i am going to do i am just going to install one library for creating a native crash so you can just go to the chrome you can just type react native crash this library i am going to install in my project react native crash tester so just Yes, I'm just adding this library into my project and add React Native Crash Tester. Okay. Now inside the project, what I am going to do, go to the SRC folder. Here I am going to add one more button. So we can just have a gap also. Native Crash. So this is a native crash you can just add another color blue okay now on the on press we can just call a method on press native crash okay now i'm going to define this function here const on press native function okay now inside this on press i am going to crash the application using this library now i am going to just import this library in my uh, home screen i need to crash the application in on press okay so what we can do we can just add this for this method native crash crash tester native crash here is the message custom message now what we can do we can just open our application reload once more click on the native crash so crash tester native crash is not libraries is not installed so we can we have to uh, reinstall the application once more and just reinstall the application Okay, so the application is installing and the library is linking now. Application is installed. Now we can just click on the blue button whether it is crashing or not. Yes, application is crashing, right? So this crash we cannot we cannot get in the uh, Chrome or the debugger tool, right? For that one, what we can do? We can just debug how to debug this crash. We can just open our Android Studio. go to the studio here you can see different method here what i am going to do uh, here you can see profile or debug apk click on the, that one then inside my mac okay inside my user mac it is on the desktop here desktop you can see debugging project debugging project android folder inside app inside build output apk here you can see my app debug apk select that one reload apk in existing project so you can just reload in the existing project so 
now you can see this apk is loading here just i am closing here override existing project just wait a moment yes android studio is opening with my debug apk now what i have to do just wait this scanning to be completed and go to the log cat now here you can see the device connected just wait to uh, scanning should be completed here you can see my uh, device is connected and also the package the app which is i am running here is the package here is the app which i am running okay now what i am going to do i am going to delete all the logs just i am clicking the native crash here you can see the application is crashed custom message whatever the message we have given it is coming so this way you can catch your native crash on android studio if the native crash you cannot get in the console or javascript that time you have to use android studio how you can use just uh, prof just just debug your profile or debug your apk open the apk once more you can see all the console all the logs which is happening here you can see i'm just removing if i just call the ap also you can see the ap is also calling from here you can see the response is coming every log you will get on the log cat itself okay now what i am going to do i am going to crash the application this is a native crash which you will not be getting the console i'm just crashing here you can see crash is happened same way you can just do in the and uh, xcode as well just clear all the cache okay now what i am going to do i am going to reload the application once more yes you can put aside and close this one and i am going to native crash here okay see here you can see native crash is coming and wait one second sorry the application has to be built once more because we have installed a new library right so i'm going to install the library once more so the library is now installed application is loading now we can just clear this one and i just try to crash the application here you can see okay so have to install the port before that one just go to the ios port install because we have added a new library right react native crash tested that's why application is crashing because the application cannot uh, find the uh, library inside the application so we can just keep export version and again we can just install the application once more Yes, application is building all the native crashes you can find on the xcode log right so we can just wait application to be completed Yes, our application is open right now. Now we can just wait application to be loaded. Clear all the log. Just check whether all other. Uh, yes, we can getting the uh, we are getting the API response here. Just consoles are coming. Now what we can do? We can just crash the application. Yes, 
the application is crashed you are receiving the message so this is a native crash on ios see this one this is crashed because you are getting the response here right so me this way you can uh, detect the native crashes using your studio even is the release apk also release ipa you can also find the crash using your studio xcode studio and android studio clear we can jump into the next lecture